Glory to God. Amen. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening naman po sa ibang malugar. To God be the glory. Ngayon po tayo ay mag-aaral ng salita ng Panginoon ngayong September 5, 2021. Sa muli, good morning, good afternoon, at uh, good evening po sa inyong lahat. God bless you as you listen to the Word of God. 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 8 hanggang... 16, 1 Kings 17, And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Saripat, which belongeth to Sidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So he arose and went to Saripat, and when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks, and he called to her, and said, Pitch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as he was going to pitch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine hand. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but an handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cross. And behold, I am gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me therefore of a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cross of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sent it rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her house did it many days. Last verse 16. And the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cross of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which he speak by Elijah. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Almighty God, our loving Father in heaven, thank you for sa araw na to, Holy Spirit of God. Help us, help me to share the word at meron kaming lesson na matutunan bilang aming spiritual food. Pagpalain niyo po, bless everyone as they listen to the word. Forgive all our, our sins. Thank you po sa lahat-lahat. Holy Spirit of God, help us. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. Thank God kay Raven Girl, thank you. At may kanong Patrick sa Macedonian Giver Believers sa Blessing. At uh, meron akong fan na nagagamit itong lapil. At thank God also kay Engineer Nogis Pigarido, ang na Diana Pigarido sa Damit. Glory to God. Thank God sa inyong lahat. God bless you all. Ang title ngayong araw na to, The Widow Woman and uh, Elijah. Ay, sorry. Elijah and the Widow Woman Story. Balik natin. Elijah and the Widow Woman Story. Little is much when God is in it. Much marami sa aklanon abo, sapat na standi. Kahit konti yan, ay marami yan pag ang Diyos ay nandyan. Little is much when God is in it. This is the story of Prophet Elijah and the widow woman of Saripat. Ang background ni Prophet Elijah or si Propita Elias, he was moody. Meron siyang binigyan siya ng Diyos ng power from God Pray to the Lord, God, for the child soul na mabuhay muli sa 1 Kings 17 verse 21 to 22. Verse 21, And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long have she between... Ah, sorry. Sorry, chapter 18 pala yun. Chapter 17, verse 21. And he stretched himself upon the child three times, and cried unto the Lord, and said, O Lord my God, I pray thee, let this child's soul come into him again. 
And the Lord heard the voice of Elijah, and the soul of the child came into him again, and he revived. The Lord heard the voice of Elijah or Elias. That's the encouraging verse in the Bible. The Lord heard the voice of Elijah. Kung namnamin o imeditate mo, the Lord heard your voice. And Elijah never suffered physical death like Eno. Narapture na. Uh, punta na ka agad sa lang, dinala ng Panginoon. And about the widow woman of Saripat, Saripat is a place a uh, Phoenician city on the Mediterranean coast between Sidon and Tyre. Ang title ngayong araw na to, September 5, 2021, Elijah and the Widow Woman Story. Little is much when God is in it. Kunti man yan, pero naging marami dahil ang Diyos ay nandyan. Involve ang Panginoon. Number one, a little water. Number one, a little water. Water is essential. Kailangan talaga ng tubig. Hindi baling walang kuryente, basta may tubig. Jesus Christ is the living water. Diyan sa John chapter 4, Jesus talking to Samaritan woman na nag ng tubig, pitching water. Dahil ang culture sa Israel, ang kultura doon, ay babae ang tagaigib ng tubig. Remember the daughters of Jethro, kung saan ang kanyang mga anak na mga dalagang babae ay sila yung tagaigib ng tubig na kung saan tinulungan uh, sila ni Moses that time. In the Philippines, ang uh, ating culture ay lalaki yung tagaigib ng tubig. You will notice sa mga water refilling station, especially sa region spring, mga 99% ay mga lalaki yung gaigib ng tubig. Back to Jesus' time, uh, whosoever drink of the water na offer ni Jesus, sabi niya, I will never thirst ay hindi na muling Mauuhaw. Speaking of himself, Jesus himself, if you have Jesus Christ, I fulfill contented life, contento na yung buhay mo, satisfied life, na ikaw, if you have Jesus, you have also the Holy Spirit and the Heavenly Father, ay hindi ka na mauuhaw pa. Speaking of your spiritual life, our spiritual life. Elijah's body that time is weary, tired, dried, pagod na siya for hiding against the wrath of King Ahab and his uh, wife of Ahab, Jezebel, del galit yung mga sawa kay prophet Elijah. So Elijah ran for his life at napunta siya doon sa Brook Chirip na kung saan ay ang Panginoon ay nag-provide na raven o ravens o tinatawag na mga uwak para pakainin si ang kanyang lingkod, si Prophet Elijah doon sa Brook Chirip na kung saan binibigyan siya ng mga ravens o ng mga uwak na makakain na sabi rin sa Bible ay merong meat at bread. Kaya, ito naman, matapos na matuyot yung brook chirit, ang ginawa ng Panginoon naman ay, ginamit ng Panginoon ay ito naman uh, with a woman o saripa para i-provide yung pagkain ni Prophet Elijah. Kaya, with a woman of Saripat. At ang request ni Prophet Elijah ay little water. Bawat patak na tubig ay mahalaga. Remember the rich man in 
sa dun siya sa impyerno in hell telling to Lazarus to uh, isawsaw yung daliri ni Lazarus sa tubig at ilagay doon sa dila ng rich man oh, sa English ka dip dahil sa matinding hirap in torment yung rich man sa lugar na kanyang pinuntahan napunta dahil of course wala siyang relationship sa Panginoong Heso Kristo sa Panginoong Diyos a place of torment begging and praying Father Abraham mali pa ang kanyang prayer First Kings chapter 17 verse 8 and the word of the Lord came unto him saying Arise, get to Saripat. Dumating ang salita ng Panginoon kay Prophet Elijah. Bumangon ka at pumunta ka doon sa Saripat which belong it to Sidon. And well there, behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So he arose and went to Saripat. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the woman, the widow woman, was gathering of sticks, and he called to her and said, Peace me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. So verse 11, And as he was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine hand. Kaya ang request niya ay bread, katulad sa verse number 6. And the ribbons brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. Kaya ang pagkain lang nun ni Elijah ay morning tsaka evening, twice a day lang. Pero tayo mga Pilipino, breakfast, lunch, dinner, meron pa mga midnight snacks, at meron snacks sa umaga, snacks sa hapon, at meron mga snacks sa gabi. Pero si Prophet Elijah, bread and meat in the morning and in the evening, sabi dito sa verse 6. Praise the Lord na nandun yung provision ng Panginoon. Ginamit niya yung mga ravens. Kaya, uh, thanks God, thank you sa iyo, raven girls, sa pagbigay na Pinansyal at binili ko na itong lapil, no? Tawag dito. So, praise God. Thank you sa'yo at ginamit ka ng Panginoon at thank you kayo ng Patrick uh, Amago at sa mga Macedonian uh, Christian Giver Believers. Thank you sa inyong suporta. Kaya nung Jess, Engineer Pagarigido, nung Diana. Thank you sa damit na suot ko ngayon. Praise God. At sa verse 11, uh, nabasa na natin kanina na and as she was going to fit city called to her and said bring me a free day a morsel of bread in thine hand bread at alam natin Jesus is the bread of life uh, glory to God kaya yan ang number one a little water and then number two little oil number two little oil sa so verse 12 Sabi nito, and she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake but a handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cross, and behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. Imagine, mas worse pa ito sa mayroong mga granular lockdown na kung saan ay maraming ayuda ang ating gobyerno na dyan yung provincial capital, provincial government sa pangalan ni Governor Jubin Maraflores na naka-experience kami na mga granular lockdown doon sa Purokwan sa Lasierna, na dyan yung may bigas, may dilata, mayroon pang isang buong manok. Oh, praise God. Isang buong manok. Kung walang lockdown, hindi maka dibira na makabili ng Isang buong manok, mga kwan lang eh. Mga one-fourth lang, mga 50 pesos lang, yan lang. At nandiyan naman yung municipal uh, government sa pamanan naman eh. Engineer Mayor Emerson Lachica, bigay rin ng mga bigas, canned goods, meron ding 
Manodols Adi Papa, yung DSWD kalimbo sa pangunan ni Ma'am Luli Espino at mayroon din mga kaibigan, mga private uh, individual, ang maging yung Aklan Baptist Church, yan si Pastor Yuli, at maging si yung sa Child, Aklan Baptist Child Development Center, padala rin, at uh, iba pa na mga kaibigan natin, mga anak ng Diyos, uh, padala, ang mga teachers, uh, CDW, Isai, hantid pa nila, Ma'am Arlene, Ma'am Jinky, uh, of course si Nang Doris, hantid, hantid din nila. Kaya, at yung mga ibang tumutulong pa, Laurenti Family, Bautista Family, kay Annalyn Annalisa. At uh, yung makamali, more or less, ay maabot na mga 70 canned goods, mga sardinas. Meron din mga, uh, of course, kunti lang naman yung corn beef karamihan ay sardinas. Ay, hindi ko makamali, more or less, 70 na mga dilata yun. Pero ang ginawa ko yun naman ay pinamigay rin sa iba. Eh, share the blessing rin. Pero itong, With the woman of Saripat, ay sabi niya ay dadampot siya ng dalawang stick, madyan dalawa lang, at para lutuin yung little, uh, yung flour harina, with little oil and with little water, at mamatay na sila ng anak niyang lalaki. Isipin mo yan? Mas uh, mapalad pa nga yung mga granular lockdown ay mayroong tulong sa provincial government, municipal government, sa DSWD, sa mga katrabaho nila, sa kumpanya, sa mga kaibigan, mga kakilala, kamag-anak. Pero itong widow woman ay kung isipin mo ay kukuha lang ng dalawang stick at lulutuin yung konting harina sa konting oil, sa konting tubig, kakain sila at mamatay na sila. Isipin natin yan na, kung isipin natin talaga napakahirap yung sitwasyon na itong widow woman of Saripa. Itong little oil, it, it's maybe olive oil. Of course, ito ay oil made in Israel. Dito naman sa Philippines, ang ating mga oil ay, ang uh, source ng ating oil ay galing sa coconut oil, vegetable oil, virgin coconut oil, meron naman sa oil from the meat of the pig. Of course, itong oil na ito ay from Israel to bake a little cake. At mayroong oil rin na ginagamit sa pag-anoint sa king of Israel like Saul, King Saul and King David ay gin-anoint sila na oil na prophet Samuel, si Propeta Samuel. Ang ating, ma, ang ating lesson learned sa ating pag-aaral ng salita ng Diyos ay how to be hospitable when we do uh, not have much. Itong si a uh, widow woman of Saripat ay naging hospitable siya sa lingkod ng Diyos kay uh, Propita Elijah. Kaya maganda ang ugali sa mga Kristiyano pag yan ay evangelist, missionary, local or foreign missionaries, yan ay pastor, basta tapat sa Panginoon, hindi impostor, hindi manluloko, hindi mukhang pera, ay maganda yan na tulungan basta pastor na uh, ang puso niya ay para sa Panginoon at sinsiro siya. Hindi siya nang luloko, hindi siya nang take advantage, siya na magandang tulungan. At praise the Lord na hindi man ako nahingi sa inyo, pero kayo ay kusang nagbibigay. At yung binibigay niyo naman ay sinisiro ko rin sa iba. So praise God sa inyong heart na mayroong uh, generous heart. At itong si Uh, itong widow woman ay nakalearn siya ng mga lesson na naging hospitable siya at nagpakita rin siya kung paano siya uh, listen to God. Nakinig siya sa salita ng Diyos at sa salita na propita. From the story of this widow woman, there are things na we can learn. Obedience must come first if we expect God to do anything miraculous. 
With obedience comes blessings. With honor comes blessings. With faith comes blessing. Kaya pag masunuring obedience sa Panginoon, yes, sabi nga sa Isaiah 1.18, If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. At meron nga sa book of Samuel, obedience is uh, better than sacrifice. With honor comes blessing. In honor niya yung servant, man of God, si Elijah. Pero uh, tayo, personal kita ko, wala nga ako sa kaliking, kalingkingan eh. Propita Elijah, na yan naman ako na akong tawagin man of God. Ha. Kaya naman, ha, ayaw ko mas pilihin ko lang na Uh, servant of God o alipin ng Diyos kay kaya naman na wala tayo sa kalingkingan sa narating sa paglingkod ni Elijah sa Panginoon with faith comes blessings Elijah and the widow woman story little is much when God is in it number one little water number two little oil number three the last little cake or food. Number three, the last, little cake or food. So verse 13. Verse 13, And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. So sabi ni Elijah, gumawa ka una para sa akin, then sa pangalawa, para sa iyo at sa iyo anak. At God promised to strangers or foreigners, ganun din sa fatherless at saka widows, provision. Love the strangers, mabasa natin sa Leviticus 19.34. God gave favor to fatherless, widow, and stranger. Yes, sa Deuteronomy chapter 10. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 18 and 19. He that execute the judgment of the fatherless and widow and love the stranger and giving him food and raiment. Love ye therefore the stranger for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. We see the power of God. God uses the ravens. God uses the widow woman with little oil, little flour. Kaya pag meron tayong little talent, halimbawa sa singing, use it for the glory of God. Sing for the Lord. Little knowledge, hindi yan din Diyos. Pag ang little knowledge, You give it to the Lord, that is good. Little treasures, little amount. Mga little things, pag binigay mo sa Panginoon, little is much when God is in it. Kaya ngayon with the woman, maroon siya little water, little oil, little flour, little cake, binigay niya sa lingkod ng Panginoon, at hindi siya naubusan. Hindi siya na, hindi kawalan basta para sa Panginoon. Kaya si little stature na si Sakius, binigay niya yung puso niya sa Panginoon, pati ang treasure niya, ay talaga nagkaroon ng big satisfaction sa kanyang buhay at fulfillment, contentment sa buhay ni Sakius little stature, pero binigay niya sa Panginoon ay maganda. Praise the Lord sa mga bagay na yan. Amazing, isn't it? Not to the noble, not to the rich, not to the rulers, not to the wealthy, not to the prominent people sa lugar na yan, but to the widow woman of Saripat. Para ipakita ng Diyos na hindi 
siya apektado ng economic crisis. Paripakita ng Panginoong Diyos na hindi siya apektado na economic shutdown, economic loss, economic sabotage, economic, economic collapse. Why? Because God is powerful and God is good. God is the great provider in a miraculous way which our minds and hearts may say, Praise the Lord. God is sovereign God. Wonderfully amazing. From this story of Elijah and the widow woman of Sarpan, listen learn is the obedience to God, to His word, to His servant, like Elijah, not to the point today as if they claim they are Elijah to the extreme of demand to the poor using the ministry for gain, for money, for profit, for dishonesty, using the example of Elijah for manipulation, using uh, of this, using this weak brethren for their personal gain. Rather than to be good in some pool in the faith as servant, not for filthy lacquer in the saluho, but for the cost of price in humility, love, and generosity. Listen of faith. Listen of staying to God because He's the source of everything. Listen of Listen of God first. His kingdom, His servant, His ministry, His cause, and all shall be added to the widow woman. Like the story of the lad with five loaves and two pieces given to Jesus Christ. Sa little mill ng bata, of the lad ay ang nakinabang doon ay big crowd 5,000 men not including the women and children sa generous heart na bata nakakain yung estimated more or less 15,000 people were filled na busog gather the fragments ang mga natira leap over at 12 baskets yung natira 12 baskets full of uh, food may be given to the boy. Listen, learn. We cannot outgive God. When you give your life to God, give your time to God, resources, talents, treasure, everything which is the truth, God is the owner. And if you do that, you are a good steward of what God given to you. Giving God the glory. Because God gives you life, body, talent, time, treasures, house, resources, wisdom, work, health, family, friends, children, nation, Savior, Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, the love of our Heavenly Father, the country, Philippines, the pastors that will feed you with knowledge and understanding, wisdom, the church, assembly, congregation, ecclesia, government, government officials, teachers, friends, relation, neighboring uh, countries, Missionaries, evangelists, preachers, pastors, bishops, ministers, elders, material things, and God Himself given to you and to me. Galatians 2.20 Galatians 2.20 I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live with the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. Elijah 
and the with the woman story. Little is much when God is in it. Kunti man yan, pero naging marami because God is there. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Little water, number one. Number two, little oil. Number three, little cake or food. Thank you for watching, listening, and subscribing. Please subscribe. Sa hindi pa nakapag-subscribe. God bless you and your family. Keep safe, healthy, and happy in our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. I love you all in the Lord. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Almighty God, our loving Father in heaven, maraming salamat po sa Word of God, sa story, kay Prophet Elijah, the widow woman of Saripat story, little is much when God is in it. Heavenly Father, I pray po sa inyo si Pastor Yuli, Pastor Jess, Pastor Dan, Pastor Excel, Pastor Rosiller, pagpalaan niyo po ang ingatan their family, si Brad Leo Saptang sa abroad, ingatan niyo po ang mga uh, Aklan Baptist Church young people, papalain mo ang philosophy nila this afternoon, ngayon September 5, Iblis mo si ng Georgian, si Nong Perry, ang pamilya, si Pilomina Agudon, si Pabio, ang pamilya, si Botbot Agudon, ang family, ay si Daniel, De La Cruz, si Nonoy, si Nair De La Cruz, ingatan sila. Their family and salvation, sa hindi pa ligtas. I praise the Remy, RJ, si Joji, ingatan niya rin, Lord, sa Luzon. I praise the Renier, si Pastor Joshua Bontogon, at Leila. Ganun na Diyos si Astor Warlin, Nay Norlin, si Janice, at si Josie. Ang pamilya si Richie, and Reynold Bontogon, Pastor Chagan, Pastor Goliano, Pagpala niyo po ingatan at comfort Lord sa pagkamatay ni uh, sa pamilya ni Pastor uh, Gilbert Tukiro. Tulong niyo siya ang uh, kanyang Panginoon, kanyang may bahay at kanilang mga anak at ang church dun sa Laluma. Baptist Church at uh, salamat Panginoon na to be absent from the bodies to be present with the Lord na si Pastor Tukiro Lord ay nasa piling man na siya. Si Pastor Rosauro, pagpala niyo rin, Pastor Box, Pastor Nabli, Pastor Ricky, Pastor Arnel, Pastor Nelson, Pastor Romeo, Pastor, si uh, Elier Reynado, si Darrell, si Butchel, ni Gaya Salvador. Ingatan niyo Lord sa Manila at yung uh, pag-work niya sa Middle East. Pagpala niyo mga ingatan, may mabait ang kanyang amo, si Apple, sa Bambat Sarin, mga OFW, mga si Peter, si Lajip Pablo. Ngatan niyo rin si Yudi, si Kuya Ray, si Jan Realita, si Pilin, si Alan, at uh, si Nok Nok, may si Risti Subika, iba pa mga si, si Peters. Pala niyo sila pa yun. At uh, protection sa mga si Peters. Pala niyo rin, good health, kay Mami Lynn Guevara, Preacher Jim, si Nang Dura, Nay mas si Bakani, nung Patrick, Raven Girl, nung Jema, mga CDWs, gara Macedonian Believers, Givers, mga sponsors, binipisa rin ng page rate 72 and family, papalain niyo po si Derek Nuts, si No, Jess Engineer Jess, and Diana Pigarito, Kuya Ray, ng Rosalita, Kuya Noel, at uh, Julie Daigma. Jeremy Mulas, Kuya Buyan, at Emi Pelayo, Abraham, Daniel Tobal, Iblis Malor, ingatan. Si Police Executive Master Sergeant Sally Tunil, Police Master Sergeant Eric Tang, Police Top Sergeant Ariel Fernandez, Police Top Sergeant Junel Romero, Police Top Sergeant Winil Tejada, Patroman Jiggy Baligwan, May si Tintoy, Si Apon, si Percy, si Mercy, si Rix Lagoan, Precious, Salis, ang uh, Arsenio family, Lagoan, Baclor family, Mendoza family, Panis, Bernal, Bornalis, Sir Nicola, Elias, Bontogon, Pama, Agudon, si Nehaiti Nomile, si Mercy Pei, si Mian, Pluribi, si Bibski, si Mundi, si Stars, si San, si Marby, 
palaya pa ino ang mga tinuran 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 namin mga bata sa purong ono sa purong poor bless mo si Lord lumago spiritual bless mo ng Israel salvation ng mga Israelites ingatan niyo rin po ang mga Filipino doon sa Middle East especially sa doon Panginoon sa Afghanistan ang mga Christian doon ingatan niyo Panginoon pagpalaan niyo rin si Jinkel Riano, Arellano ang kanyang anak doon sa Masbate kanyang father-in-law ingatan niyo po Panginoon tulungan niyo at sa good health sa kanya Pastor Gumi Ma'am Jill si Sir Jonan Ma'am Irene Hari Pastor Gargulis Pastor Ken, Dr. Gisalba, Pastor Dan, Padires, Pastor Yunidis, Pastor Shanmark, Pastor Boggs, Pastor Risti, Mamaribi, Rismark, Ryan Reigns, Government Officials, Al Shamin, si Joel, Sir Joel, Ma'am Christine Panopio, Joel Toliro, Ma'am Tess Lopez, Pastor Carlo, Dialdai, Pastor Manuel, Pastor Casper, Pastor Warren, Puertes Family, sa Palawan, ng Atanya Lord, si Midian, si Noel, Palaan niyo rin, ingata, ati Lita, ati Ani, Ma'am Jima, si Ma'am Ani, si EJ, si Angel, Jung Jung, Mga Toto, Norlito, Elias, kanyang mga anak, Panginoon, ingata niyo rin, palaan, Pastor De Leon, Pastor Gasong, Pastor Martinez, Pastor Arlan, Pastor Jess, Pastor Nisti, Pastor Salibio, Pastor Ruiz, at yung mga hindi ko ama na bangit ng mga pastor, at yung mga hindi ko na bangit ng iba, ay, Pagpalaan niya sila, Panginoon. Ingatan, safety, at protection sa kanila, blessing. Bagay sa mga missionaries, Red King, Bob Kipoy, Bob Pulon, si Jojo Latadi, si si Oswe Satonero, si Javier Garcia, bagay si Sir John Hernan maging si Sir Soriano at yung mga si Ma'am Dolcitan si Sri Yan Yon Glody Minyada maging si Ma'am yung iba pa na mga missionary Panginoon mga hindi ko nabanggit Norberto Coros ingatan niyo po Panginoon ng family Salamat po ng marami. Sa iyo po ang lahat ng papuri, glonor, honor and glory. Pagpala niyo rin si uh, Yatan na Heidi, Amelie Sterpen, si Monet, Linlin Papas, Jomar, si Pitit, si Edgar Subong, si Dino Nila, si si G.E. At ang Paul Recovery at tinitang Panginoon, financial needs, good health. At pala niyo si Pao Pao, si uh, Rani, si... GR Panginoon, Kuya Gol, Kuya Mado, Kuya Dong, Kuya Boyet, Kuya Tikboy, Kuya Ricky, Kuya Julio Sedinis, Joseph Sedino, Ati Bibi, Ati Inday, at Ati Bing Panginoon, at their family ay pagpalaan nyo, Panginoon at ingatan. Sa iyo po ang lahat ng pasalamat, papor, and glory. Salamat po sa lahat-lahat. Pala niya aming bansa, ang mga government official, kay President Duterte, Vice President Dubrido, mga Senador, mga Risman, mga Governor, Mayor, mga Barangay Captain, at mga Barangay Kagawad, at mga Barangay Tanod, at ang mga polis, ang mga CAP, mga frontliner, mga doktor, nurses, Panginoon. Tula niya ang mga ibigay sa mga health workers, provincial health, municipal, barang health workers, sa kanila mga financial incentives may bigyan ng gobyerno ng Panginoon. May pray ng Panginoon yung mga korap na ilan na government official ay maparusan pa yung mapalitan sila. At kayo, Heavenly Father, mag-ubed sa Pilipinas ng mga anis, mga government official, mga sasunod ng mga leaders, kayo mag-provide Panginoon. Bless the Israel at we pray ang salvation ng mga kaluluwa ng mga Israelites na sila ay makilang kay Jesus bilang Lord and Savior tanggapin nila. Salamat po ng marami. At kung gusto mong maligtas ay napakadali lamang aminin na lahat tayo nakasala admit to our all sinners let there be believe on the Lord Jesus Christ at ikaw ay maligtas sa parosa doon sa apoy ng impyerno at literacy, choose to receive by faith Jesus to be your Savior. Sumunod ka lang sa short prayer na ito. Lord Jesus, salamat po. 
kayo ay namatay doon sa krus para bayaran ang aking mga kasalanan. Naniwala po ako sa inyo na kayo po ay namatay, inilibing at muling nabuhay. Panginoong Isus, patawarin niyo po ako sa lahat kong mga kasalanan, pinagsisiyan ko ang mga kasalanan. Panginoong Isus, pinabuksan ko ang puso, tinatanggap kita. Panginoong Isu Kristo, Lord Jesus, I receive you into my heart as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you for the promise of eternal life in heaven, Father God. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. Salamat po ng marami. Ama at ang mga tumanggap ay pagpalaan niyo po, lumago sila spiritual at sila rin ay in their little time and little uh, resources ay sila ay ibigay nila sa inyo Panginoon ang little remaining years ng mga buhay namin ay ibigay sa inyo salamat po ng marami thank you po lagi as we love you sa iyo po ang lahat ng glory, honor, and power ng mga hindi ko nabanggit sa prayer, ako mga nag-lab, nag-like sa Facebook, sa YouTube ay iblis mo Panginoon under family, ingatan niyo po Panginoon at we pray ang barian, anong klaseng barian, mga virus itong COVID-19 Heavenly Father, we pray sa iyo na kayo na po ang bahala nito ma, uh, ano ang gagawin nyo ito man ay lusawin nyo uh, i-wipe out nyo kayo na po ang bahala at ingatan niyo po ang mga anak mo, mga Christian mga laban sa namin at ang mga frontliner, ingatan niyo po at sa mga Pilipino ang maparusan nito, ang may kagawan nito ama, ng mga virus na ito Panginoon Salamat po at uh, ilitas po kami sa mga masamang espiritu, masamang tao, na walang takot sa inyo. At kayo po ang sa amin ng mga manapalatay na maraming pangkalawang maligtas sa lugar dito, sa kalibong, mga espesa dito, sa housing, Panginoon pala niya rin mga needs nila spiritually at mga sa provision sa pangarano. Salamat po ng marami po rin po kayo. Ama, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, sa iyo pang lahat ng glory or our power, ito ang dalayan po salamat sa matamis na pangang Panginoong Isos na aming Panginoong Pagpaligtas. Amen and Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you and your family. Keep safe, keep healthy and happy in the Lord and our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. I love you all in the Lord. Bye-bye.